So we just got done looking at our negative temperature coefficient thermistor, 20k ohms in a bowl of ice water. And we saw that as the temperature decreased, the resistance increased. So we know that the thermistor is responding as it should to temperature changes. So there's four things that you need to know and find out before you can determine whether you actually have a fault in the system or if you have a bad thermistor. And I would say that as far as thermistors go, I have seen them fail not quite often, but they do fail. So you can't just go by the, the control board telling you that there's a fault. You need to be able to check these thermistors. So there's four things you need to know. Is it a positive temperature coefficient or negative temperature coefficient thermistor? And what K ohm range is it? If you don't know these two things, you can't check it. And if you can't find the installation guide that has the chart that we just looked at, you're going to have to call the manufacturer and you need to know what you're talking about. So you need to ask them, is it PTC or NTC and where, and what is the K ohm range of the thermistor? Once you determine that, then you can check it and see if, if it is actually a fault or if the thermistor is bad. So the next thing you're going to do is you're going to put it in a known temperature. So you could just disconnect it off of the refrigeration piping and let it be ambient temperature and see if it reads within range of the chart, plus or minus a bit. Um, you can clamp on your clamp on temperature probe onto the pipe that it's on and measure the resistance. And of course, when you do that, you need to have it disconnected completely from the circuit and no power applied as well. So you just need to have a known temperature. Then you're going to measure the resistance and you're going to check the chart. The other thing you're going to want to do is see if it responds to temperature changes. So you're going to either put it in your hand and warm it up or drop it in, in some ice water and see if, if the, temp the resistance changes based on the temperature. And that is what you do with your thermistors when you're, you're checking a high efficiency system and you're getting a fault code. You really need to make sure that these thermistors are checked and measuring accurately.